you know, I know just from walking my dog up in the hills that, that the grasses, you know, are knee high to me and, and they're, they're still growing too. They're, they're going to be dried out. And so there'll be plenty of available fuel there. So there, there's definitely cause for concern. Fire experts weighed in on the 2023 fire forecast from AccuWeather Meteorologist, which predicts that in California, 400,000 to 1 million acres will burn. That puts the state at average or slightly above average for fire danger later in the summer. To put that in perspective, nearly 1 million acres burned in just the Dixie Fire in 2021 in Lassen Volcanic National Park. We shouldn't expect large fire, big fires in July which is different from the previous years. Right now, fuel moisture is high everywhere, but problems will arise once the grass dries out. So it's like a great year for grazing cattle this year, should be. Also a good year if that grass isn't eaten, there's a lot of it there to burn. And so you would tend to have more intense and faster spreading fires in grassland areas. We have downed trees from a lot of the wind damage that we've had. So there's definitely going to be fuel there. The, the good news is we're going to have, the, you know, those areas will hold on to moisture a little bit later into the season. And then as you go up into the Sierras, you know, there's a different dynamic there just with regard to the snowpack that's going to retard any, you know, problematic fire spread until much later into the season. If you're going to bet, like the odds are, it's definitely a lower fire year because of the high snowpack. Once we get into fall, we can always have high fire danger just because it's the driest time of the year. So the takeaway message is it's all green for now. But if you live by grassy hillsides, it's more important than ever to cut the growth back this year because of grassland fire potential. There is less fire risk in forested areas than there's been in a long time.